fishing. We have a family. We got the drum queen right here, and then V in the back. All right, we're on our way to the Fly Fest in Fort Worth. Um, just uh, made a pit stop here at the 7-Eleven. We're here at Hillsboro. So we'll uh, just be on our way uh, 48 minutes. Um, should have a good time. Uh, all right, later. Down here, you got people are prepping up for the first heat of the tournament, but we go in uh, from 3 3:30 to 4:30. Mm, got the Orvis vendors there. Uh, Coffee cat is uh, yeah. We'll go ahead and take a look at that. Yeah, sounds good. All kind of nice, decent rods they got over here. Look at that. Got a couple of eight weights and seven weights. Mm, I like this one for salt water. Mm, man, one day I'm gonna pick this one up for the coast for sure. It was eight weight, yep. Fun rod, that's what I take down. Oh, awesome, okay. All right, what's your name, sir? My name's Keegan. Oh, Keegan, all right, Edwin. All right, nice to meet you, you too. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, what do you uh, mainly um, like catch a lot of redfish on that? And, uh, yeah, redfish, speckle trout. trout. Uh, okay, ladyfish, all that stuff is around, you know, hanging out. But, yeah, yeah, I really like that eight weight. It okay, yeah. the wind. And it handles those right yeah, there. some people tell me a nine weight works too, very heavier, you know. Yeah, if you're going to Louisiana, of... I'd fish a nine, a nine or ten. Gotcha. Eight's on the light side of Louisiana, but Texas coast, really, unless you're targeting jacks or tarpon, eight weight does just about everything you need. So, because I, 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 I just ordered an eight weight from uh, Amazon, it's a mass catch. What do you think about those? You know, the mass catch I ones. Really done um, a lot of casting with those. No. Okay. Um, definitely, big thing is, is having a warranty. You know, I, I don't know their you know warranty return process. Accidents happen though. You know, oh, you catch that fish big enough to, to challenge the strength of that rod. But definitely, those those tailgates like to eat you know rod tips. Okay. So it's right. Having that warranty. Oh, all right. Oh, the card. Okay. All right. I heard that, man. Right, I'm gonna get to my wife. It was nice talking to you, sir. Take care, man. All right, you see me. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Definitely. Right, we're setting up the poles here for the fly fishing class. There's a long distance and then the fly class on that side here. Wish I could do both. You know, I think I'm gonna have to do the class first too. I kind of got it down quite yet, but it'll get there. You know, eventually. <laughs> All right, come up to the aquarium. See what we got in here. Oh, I thought it was a real aquarium. Okay, never mind. <laughs> well, I was full. All right, coming up to all the food trucks over here. Got a crawfish one and some barbecue and some pizza over here. Ooh. 
casting pretty fast over here. All right. Look at my baby, he's gonna practice on. He's a good cast. I'm gonna give him a base and fly lessons. Oh, I was stepping on the line. Sorry about that. Yeah. I hear you. See what you got, man. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, you don't want to pop it too back. You know, I'm fast. Otherwise, you understand. But it's a slow motion. Remember, like a V, uh, the 10 to 2. It's nice and slow. Uh, 1 1000, 2 1000 cast. There you go. 1 1000, 2 1000. Nope, too fast. 1 1000 cast. There you go, just like that. Because you want to keep that same motion. If not, you're going to snap the fly out. Like that. I'm do it again. One one thousand two cast. There you go. One one thousand two cast. All right. One one thousand. Boom. Just like that. But that's the distance you'll be in, uh, anyways, in the tournament. And everyone's like in a circle. Yeah, we're so, kind of in the circle. Okay. A little close. Let's uh. Okay, cast it. And then we'll retrieve. All right. What you're gonna do? Um, you're gonna hold your um, line like that. Finger. Like that. And then you're gonna pull like that, you know, with the other hand to strip it. So rod down and then strip it about an inch. One. I pull it down two. Okay. What am I doing? Cause cause okay, hang on. You gonna cast it? So pretend I have a fish, I'm gonna do There you go, yeah, yes. Okay. But you know you wanna put the rod low like that and then with the finger only. Like that, and then start stripping the line. Like why with the finger? Why can't I do? Yeah, because uh, you gotta have the whole. Uh, in order to when you get the hook set, you know you want to be ready. The first, because you're putting a lot of slack. And within the line, you always gotta do it with a finger or two. All right, and then grab it on that side and start stripping it with the rod down. Like that. Until I can get him. Yeah. How much do I pull in? Because when uh, when you get a bite, what you want to do, you want to set the hook like that, like boom, you no, know, like. Kind of like, you know, um, put a big strip and then, you know, lift the rod up slowly. Because you put, pop the rod up, you're going to miss it. Because what it is, like, whenever you um, strip it, you're uh, giving it, like, 10 pounds of a hook set versus 2 or 3 pounds. All right, kind of getting it, though. I love it, man. <laughs> Sneak up on him. <sighs> All right, first one down the tournament, guys. There it is. One down. Eight A. Not a big one, but you know, it's one. Mm-hmm. 14, yeah, about that. It's true. Oh, yeah, I did. All right, thanks, my babes. Yeah, that's a decent chunk. About dang time. Okay, yeah. I um, forgot my pliers, I think. Oh, dang it. Slime master brought my gloves too. Oh, partner change anyway, so. All right, so it's in a raw heat. I ended up getting one 14 inches. I put one on the board. All right, fellas, so that ends it right here with the Fly Fest uh, here in Fort Worth. It was uh, definitely a pretty good time. Um, you know, my wife right here, uh, we uh, actually uh, fished a tournament with me. Uh, had uh, no luck but she had a few of them that you know came off that's all we can say but you know at least we got out in the water that's all that matters had a pretty good time 
And um, hope to see you guys next time. We'll be hitting the river for some white bass. All right, peace.